Right, well, I'm back on the boat again today. I haven't had the uh, bank holiday weekend off. Uh, and today I'm going to be um, building the hearth for the stove. Chimney's up above, the stove's going to sit about here. So um, I've just cut this panel here, which is going to slide in there. And then I'm going to put two panels of heat proof material um, with a cavity behind and then a thick plywood base. Um, put some nice wood edging around it and then tile it and then put the stove in. And by Jove, if we get that done, it won't be today, but if I do get that done, um, without having to call in the assistance of anybody else, then I should be very pleased. But uh, this is the empty space at the moment, and hopefully you're gonna see it turn into a space with a nice stove in. Must be the middle of the day already, at least. Um, and got the end panel in. I've got the uh, uh, silicate boards in, um, and the metal packing so that there's a cavity around the back of it. I'm just recutting this base, which you know. Is um, it's two sheets of 18 mil ply screwed together, which I made too big. I forgot about the uh, depth of the silicate, so I'm just going to trim that down. And then I started putting the edging on. So that's a mitering job. I've managed to, I bought a new mitre block yesterday. I've managed to saw through that already. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, but we're moving in the right direction. Hopefully it'll all be looking pretty before tea time. Today or tomorrow, I'm not sure, but tea time. Well, we're a little bit further forward, but not much. As a carpenter, I'll make a bloody good plumber. I'll uh, come back to it again tomorrow, begin to fade. I'll need some food. Plus the electrician's here and he's gonna be working on installing the inverter and the charger. So. Says it should all be finished by Friday. He said that before, any Alfie. Bored by it all. Me too. some dinner. Let's go and take you for some dinner and a walk. Yeah? Come on then. Well here we are on day two. Nicely rested. I've managed to finish all the mitering to um, put the wooden surround around the hearth. I think I've made a half decent job. 
but I've also got a massive tube of wood filler so at the moment I'm just putting um, PVA on this silicate board so that the uh, tiles when they go on have got something to stick to and it doesn't absorb all the moisture from the adhesive and the tiles drop off we won't want that so I'm just going to give this a coat of uh, PVA and then um, I just need to put stain or varnish on the surround and um, put it all together I haven't quite worked out how to fix it all together yet screws, glue, whatever or combination of both maybe um, and then I have to go off and get some tiles I don't know at this point if I'm going to get plain tiles and paint them uh, which is kind of common in boats um, or to get some something fancy we'll have to wait and see Well, you join me a couple of days later. Um, I'm actually starting, I've started to tile the half. Um, had a little shopping day the other day. Decided to rip out the um, electric cupboard because it was just built with MDF. And uh, just wasn't happy with it. This um, high gloss uh, white um, drawer and cupboard thing we've got going on I wanted it to stay in keeping with that and I didn't see the point in painting MDF I just went back to the shop and bought some more end panels so um, I've re structuralized the um, electricity cupboard uh, and that just leaves one panel here that has to have all the uh, controls drilled into it which someone else will do so here are the tiles that I've selected the uh, surround that I did I've done with uh, like a transparent um, varnish I've got a hankering to paint it black but I'll see what it looks like when it's finished um, I stupidly assumed that the um, tile adhesive was ready mixed and it's not so according to instructions you have to mechanically mix so that bit of stick is my mechanical mixer and in go the tiles minimal cutting to do thankfully don't know how it worked out but lengthwise uh, they fit in fine. I've just got to do um, a single cut down the edge and then height wise they fit in all bar about three mil at the top so I've got to snip the tops off or the bottoms um, and then put a small cut down that side on both panels where the tiles come and meet uh, we'll see how it turns out That's the job done. I've just got to wait for it to go off and then I can uh, grout it. Not bad for a couple of hours work. If it all stays on the wall. Anyway, sandwich as you can hear and beer o'clock now. 
tea break time. the finished item. I can see some imperfections in my grouting that I need to do and um, I've got some black silicon to run around but other than that I'm gonna leave that to dry off for a day or two and then put the stove in place after I've given her a buff up and a polish and that's another job ticked off the list. Well, I've had a pretty good day today. I've been working pretty hard on the other boat and I'm a bit tired. Couldn't be bothered to make any dinner and it just so happens that um, Andy of Andy and Tina fame, neighbours of mine, uh, said they were, well, Andy actually said he was making a stew and, stew and dumplings and said, did I want to have a bowl and I said well yes please and he's just delivered it for me take a look at this so that's my dinner for tonight it looks like roast potatoes vegetables chicken stuffing dumplings all my days I can't wait to dive in how lovely of them. What nice neighbours I've got. So, thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.